Close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. It could be in the chest, it can be the stomach, it can be around the nose. Anywhere where it's easy to see. Focus your attention there. And try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Then ask yourself if it's comfortable. If long breathing is good, keep it up. If not, you can change. Try shorter breathing, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. The breath is something you can play with. And when you're with the breath, you know you're in the present moment. So make this a pleasant place to be by the way you breathe. You want to be here so you can watch your mind. But first you have to get so that you can stay with the breath consistently, because otherwise when you're watching the mind, you suddenly get into a little thought world and go spinning off someplace else. It's as if you're in the solar system and all of a sudden a, a passing star comes by and pulls you away, and you're in another system entirely, and you don't know how it happened. That's what you've got to watch out for, because if you want to know your mind, you can't let it have these blank spaces. So try to stay continually with the breath all the way in, all the way out, all the way between the breaths. Try to make your awareness as continuous as possible. And you notice any places where you habitually slip off, and you have to say, no, I'm going to stay right here, come right back. That way you can begin to see the tricks that the mind plays on itself. Because the mind is a tricky thing. You're thinking about one thing, and all of a sudden you're thinking about something else. You're heading in one direction, and you turn around and head in the other direction. It can happen very fast. Sometimes it's intentional and sometimes it's not. Sometimes you know what you're doing, sometimes you don't. So what's going on in here? Because if the mind is hard to control, you're in really bad shape, because the mind is what shapes your life. Because it's your mind that decides what you're going to do and say and think. And then what you do and say and think is going to have an impact on the pleasure and pain that you encounter. So you've got to get the mind under your control, and the first thing is to be able to watch it continually. So give yourself a good place to stay while you watch. Have a feeling that the breath is suffusing throughout the entire body, and that this is a good place to be. Then you're less likely to be pulled away by any passing star. or any passing whatever. It doesn't have to be a star. Sometimes it's just the sound of the crow, the sound of an airplane. A passing thought, and you're pulled away. You have to ask yourself, what's the attraction? Why can't you stay attracted to the breath here in the present moment? Especially when you make it comfortable like this, and make it suffuse the body. It gives rise to a sense of pleasure that's hard to find otherwise. Cool pleasure, consistent. A sense of well-being that goes deep down inside. Try to maintain that, and you'll be a lot more resistant to any passing fancy, any passing thing that would pull you away. And this way you get to know yourself well. When you know yourself, then you can exert some control. And when you can exert some control, then it's a lot more likely that your life will be a happy life, a good life. A life that causes no harm to anyone else, that causes no harm to you, and actually is full of benefits. As the Buddha said, the well-trained mind brings happiness. So give yourself some time every day to train it. <laughs>